Chhatrapati Tara Rani who was the daughter in law of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and she's had a vast journey of 9 years where she was the queen or emperor of Maratha empire there is so much happening new writers new genres yeah. new kind of actors new age cinema new age shows so there's so much to learn and then we are into the scene and you don't know what happens with between action and cut it's all magic it's beautiful Well, I would say Sonali. Firstly, welcome to Delhi Chakka. Pleasure having you as always, and congratulations for bestseller. Thank you so much, Chakka. You know, I was waiting, and I was like, okay, let me just give a final glance to the trailer, and let me see how it is looking like, and all that. And I was like, okay, what is gonna happen? What happened? <laughs> what? Who did what? So, but then if I ask you, when you were offered about the role, or when a script was briefed to you, your instant reaction as a viewer, what was it? Not as an actor, but as a viewer, what was it? As a viewer, I was like, "Oh my God! I did not predict this." <laughs> and I bet you, none of you will predict what's going to happen towards the end of the show. I think that's where the story, the content wins because it is beyond your uh, prediction. It's beyond your uh, comprehension, and it's um, still very, very justifying. And what about the character? When you were briefed about the character as an artist, what was your instant reaction to it? Like, okay, ये मेरा होना चाहिए है या let me see how she's gonna explore her role in front of me. So Urmila Rana Day is the character that I was offered, and I think uh, the most important part that hooked me was she's a cop and she's a dashing, young, dynamic, sincere, honest, earnest cop. she heads the cyber crime department and um the most important part is i've never got to play a cop or in any uh, of yes. the films that i've done in the past so i was really very very excited and then the next thing that i uh, got excited about was the setup uh, the production the director mukul abhyankar siddharth malhotra presenting the show um, uh, the show is for amazon prime video uh, the ensemble cast uh, majority yeah. is my work uh, especially is majorly with mithun chakravarty uh, the so so getting to share this space with sir uh, shruti hasan gohar everyone the, the ensemble cast and particularly the the story and the characters the complications um the way the characters are coming together and twisting each other's lives it's all so exciting to be a part of i think this whole universe this world is very very exciting to be a part of Well, in that case, as you are just playing a cop for the very first time, was there any inspiration that you took, or maybe did you like have somebody that you did a proper research for, whose style you tried to copy here, or something that you did for your character? So the the brief that I got from my director Mukul Abhyankar was to not follow anything that we have seen till now. So it's not based on or adapted or inspired from any of the cops that we've seen. In rather, let's not. portray a cop in a very stereotypical manner that has uh, been a particular way till now so she is not yeah. doing the dabangiri she is not doing one line dramas one liners she is not doing any of those sorts in fact she is pretty much the the most real a cop can get uh, most of the time because she is heading the cyber crime head department and she is uh, she is about you know details she's about observations she you wouldn't even hear her speak a lot in the show she has very few lines but most of the talking is in between the lines uh, especially with her and the senior uh, played by mr mithun chakravarty so uh, her relationship between uh, with him especially uh, i think is the key part of playing this character the journey throughout the journey and throughout the um, process of solving this case how they come together how from an annoying senior to uh, getting to like him understand him uh, you know developing that a uh, father daughter kind of relationship towards the end is the most sweetest part of uh, urmila rana day and uh, lokesh pramanik i feel and you'll you'll really like the journey i mean although she's not uh, you will not see a lot of her you will not see a lot of uh, dialogues from her but whatever little yeah. uh, she is contributing to the screenplay is very very crucial and also to uh, lokesh pramanik's character and i think you'll all end up liking their chemistry the most in the show But then, did you get to learn something from Mitchell Sir? Because I personally know that he's very fun-loving. But then, when he gets in the work mode, it is the work mode. So, how was it working with him? 
I think you shouldn't be even asking did you get to learn you should be asking how much did you get to learn and what all how did, much you, did you get to learn what all did you learn <laughs> a lot a lot starting from the fact that he's so so punctual so professional he's never late on the set he's rather 15 minutes earlier than the call time in fact he just freaks everyone out because he's before time every day and you're like oh my god mithun sir is ready chalo 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 everyone just get on the floor and start doing your work so he's so professional he He knows his lines. He knows his journey, his craft. He knows the scene. He's just there every time. He's so particular, so professional, and uh, doing everything so professionally. He's the most fun person on the set to be with. He's always joking around, bantering with someone. Uh, you know, always doing those musty and dancing around. He's so energetic, always vibrant. You, there's never a dull moment. uh with him on the set and he is always trying to find something or the other when he's uh, into you know in between the scenes especially um when he's doing like 3 to 4 page scenes he's yeah. he knows his lines so well even when you know hindi is not very comfortable language for him you will still see him putting in so much of efforts like at this age and having won so many awards including national awards uh, so much acclaim and stardom and fame and everything he is still wanting to learn you know that is something that uh, is so inspiring that we uh, today's actors or actors in the future generation should also learn from that as an artist you're always trying to learn something uh, particularly uh, when it comes to acting and craft because it it is developing so uh, so much every day it's dynamic uh, the digital space is so dynamic there is new technology coming in new style of uh, methods of acting coming in there is so much happening new writers new genres yeah. new kind of actors new age cinema new age shows so there's so much to learn but yet this person just doesn't stop so i think that is so inspiring and as an actor he's so spontaneous i think um, with me and him working together was the best part that i even i'm a very spontaneous actress i i generally don't decide where i'm going to look what i'm going to do and i don't count my steps and you know i don't do all of that I, all my takes are very different and so is his so um, we never had a lot of retakes we rather we the all our scenes were like instantly done because there's this instant chemistry that crackled between me and him that you're going to love a lot uh, most of the times there are two camera setups so uh, when we're doing one particular shot or a scene it's just done once we would just give our marking to the camera and direction department and then we are into the scene and you don't know what happens between action and cut it's all magic it's beautiful Well, do you call because the way you're talking, I feel that you are like very critical about your own work, or you do not criticize your work. Oh, I can't watch my work once it's done. I'm I just really? hate it. No, I I can't. I'm I can only watch it once when I'm dubbing for the particular scenes, and uh, yeah, I enjoy dubbing, so I, I I really enjoy the process of improving what I've already done. So uh, till dubbing, I'm happy. But once the 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 project is ready and it's released, I cannot go back and watch it. I only see mistakes and places where I could have done better. Well, in that case, tell me honestly, what was your feedback to the trailer? Because you know it has at least first installment bahar hai. So, what was your feedback to it? Oh, I loved it. I loved the trailer. <laughs> uh because you know um on the whole uh, not just looking at my part or my work on the whole when you see such kind of a trailer uh i think it is absolutely uh amazing it keeps you on the edge you don't know what's going to happen in in spite of the fact that i know the story i know um i i know the suspense i know where it's going to go i i know everything but when i saw the trailer i was like it just doesn't give up give away anything Yes. and yet it is so intriguing you were like okay fine what just release the show and show me what's going to happen now i can't wait to watch and trust me this is a show where you have no option but just to binge watch 8 to 9 hours of your 18th february are gone watching the show that's a promise wow that's quite a bigger promise and tell me one thing honestly like As an actor, do you choose quantity over quality of work, or do you choose to choose those projects that actually are hard key from the last one that you have done? What is your way of choosing projects for yourself? Yes, I'm a very hungry actor. So whenever I'm offered something, the first thing uh, that I see is, 
as an audience do i like it do i want to watch this particular show or a film okay so if i want to watch it then i'll hear the script and uh, i'll at the next i'll go to the next step and the next step is what am i doing in the show uh, is it yeah. something that i've done in the past or is it going to challenge me excite me uh, i hate monotony as a person so i can't go back and do the same thing the next day i have to keep exploring and discovering a new aspect of the craft and myself as a personality so yes i really really start to do different kind of stuff every time that i am offered so this is something that is the first thing that i look up that is it something that i've done in the past or would i uh, get a chance to explore myself in a new way altogether But then, is there is there any kind of a genre or a role that you personally think that you know is going to be very challenging for you, but still you want to try that part? Like you still want to see how you're going to ace that one. Uh, so I'm doing this historical project uh, next, which is the first uh, uh, international Marathi film. Because it will be shot in English and Marathi at the same time, and it's called okay. Chhatrapati Tara Rani, which is about this um, uh, Chhatrapati Tara Rani who was the daughter-in-law of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, and she's had a vast journey of nine years uh, where she was the queen or emperor of Maratha Empire, wow. and she's has she's an amazing journey. So this is something I'm very scared of. Uh, to get in that space because she's not just a warrior queen herself but she's also a very acclaimed administrator so to get in her space is going to be very scary but i'm at the same time very very keen very excited to uh, explore so yeah that is in the near future my dream project i would say perfect well last minute the fans ko bata dijiye because 18th of february is going to be really busy for them they're going to be watching binge watching the series what do you have to tell them in the end man I'm just going to tell you guys that okay some of you have started already predicting from the trailer ki kya hone wala hai kaun manne wala hai kaun maarne wala hai kaun pakde jane wala hai so keep doing that don't stop keep watching the trailer and keep coming up with your own version of the story but all these versions are going to fail when you see the reality when you actually see the suspense unfolding so keep till then get ready i would say brace yourself and don't don't forget to carry your chargers or your uh, whatever you need because you're going to be binge watching the show throughout and i would say enjoy the watch it's going to be fun well i would say thank you so much and good luck for the upcoming projects and also for best sellers because the way you are talking about it it's very intriguing it's looking like okay this has to be binge watch not only like watch but binge watch so thank you for joining me here at elisha kar Know all about the telly world by subscribing to Telly Chuckers YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated to our new videos.